Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to display real-time stock prices in Excel using Excel Links module and Python programming. Uh, as many of you know, the, the main language for writing macros in Excel is Visual Basic. So, uh, but actually, as you know, that Python is currently more popular. So, and I will show you in this video how to write a simple program that can enable you to display real-time stock prices in Excel. So, for example, you have this worksheet and you have a list of stocks here. So, let's write some examples for the stock tickers. So let's say Apple, for example, Facebook, and Google, Tesla, and you need to show the prices in the second column. Now we will um, follow some steps to uh, show the prices here. Uh, for this task, you need to add a macro. Uh, you need to have the developer menu here in this toolbar so if you don't see the developer menu you can go to file options customize ribbon and make sure that the developer menu is checked and click ok now you can see that you have the developer uh, menu in your toolbar so I will create a macro button uh, get price And now we will see how to uh, write a simple program in this macro to get the real time prices here. You need to have Excel Wings module to be installed in both Python and Excel. And for this video, uh, as a prerequisite, you should have Python and Excel already installed on your machine. To install Excel Wings in Excel, you can go to this. Uh, link um, here you can find file called xlwings.xlam so you will need this file I have already downloaded this file so I will show you how to uh, import it to Excel from the developer menu you will find something called Excel add-ins so you click on this icon click browse And the file that you downloaded, Excel Wings, you can just include it and click OK. So now you have, as you can see, you have the Excel Wings um, uh, module already installed in Excel. To install Excel Wings in Python, uh, you can use the popular pip command, for example, in a command window. And also we need a module called requests. So we will need this uh, module to uh, get data from the URL. Okay, now we have the modules ready. We can close this window and now let's call this worksheet uh, stock list and now we will go to the Python code so 
So this is the code that, that we are going to use. Uh, I will show you the main steps. You have to write all your code uh, inside the function so that you can call this function from inside Excel. So as you can see, we first imported Excel links, uh, which is the model that we installed, and also requests. And we will need uh, another library called time for uh, adding some delay, and I will show you how uh, why we need the delay. So the first step is um, we can, using Excel Wings, make a call um, to the current sheet, the current sheet in the, um, in the Excel. And here you can specify the sheet name. So in our case here, the sheet name is stock list. So we can rename this one to stock list. And here you can specify the start index and the final index of your um, tickers. Um, so the index simply is the row number of the ticker. So I'm assuming here that I'm going to use G1 and G2. So let's put some uh, index, uh, let's put some number here. So as you can see, the starting uh, ticker is at row number 2. So I will put here 2. And the final ticker is at 5, so I will put here 5. Now, the Python code will take the values from G1 and G2 cells. So these are the starting point and the ending point. And through this loop, the first step is it's going to read the ticker from... Um, this is B here, so, so it, it should be A, because you're going to read from first column in Excel. The second step is to specify the URL. So we're going to uh, extract the stock price from uh, Yahoo Finance. It's simply the this uh, part of the URL and you add the ticker or the symbol. And then we're going to uh, record the current time before and after uh, making a request or the, the request to get information from the URL because we need to specify the amount of time taken uh, for the request. We record the time in a variable called T0 and here we are getting the response from the URL and here we are calculating the response delay which is simply the current time minus the time recorded before making the request and then we are applying a delay of 10 times this response delay. So we add this kind of delay in our code because we don't want the uh, server of Yahoo Finance to block uh, us if if you are requesting uh, making if you are making many requests in a short time, it will doubt that you are a robot and it can block your uh, address. So we add this delay so that you can wait for some time before um, making the next uh, request. And in this line and the next line, we are simply getting uh, keywords in the response. So our uh, ticker price is between two keywords called post market price and pre market change percent. So we are making sure that we capture the text between these two keywords and then we get the regular market price and this is some kind of formatting in the response from the Yahoo Finance page and the last step is we are going to write this value in the cell in Excel so we are going to write the prices in the second column, column B so this should be the letter B. And that's it for the code. So we save it. Now we have the Python code ready. 